Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be explaining to you where the top 15, actually, I think I have 16 on this list, free agents that are going to hit free agency where they're wait where they should go. Most of these guys, they're probably gonna stay on the teams they're on, but this is if they had to leave tomorrow. So number one, Devontae Adams, you know, played very good at Packers, you know, he's one of the best receivers um, in the NFL, probably maybe even in the top 10 ever. Um, that's kind of a, you know, that's a controversy matter how you say it, um, if he actually is. But to, I think where Devontae Adams should go is the Raiders. You know, the Raiders need help at receiver. You know, they got Hunter Renfro, which is a boss, but they should, they could move Hunter Renfro to the receiver too. Maybe the slot and Devontae Adams, you know, the receiver one. They can make a lot of plays. And he'd be playing with his old college teammate, um, Derek Carr. You know, that would make them, because Raiders focus a lot, try to get their run game going a lot this season. And they have Josh Jacobs and Kenyon Drake. They're both injured off and on and weren't that good this season. But with that, with Adam Devontae Adams, that frees up their. Maybe the running not getting so much and the receiving got the best. Yeah, with Zay Jones, he's played a good too with Hunter Renfro, but he has those guys a receiving group. That's a pretty good receiving group. Um, at number two, yeah, Taron Armstead from the Saints going to the Falcons. Yes, the Falcons, they have a horrible offense line. I mean, if Matt Ryan had a good offense, which Matt Ryan could leave this offseason, most likely he's going to leave, retire, or at least leave. Um, going, even if the, when they draft their quarterback, Taron Armstead could be that good tackle for the Falcons and improve their running game with Cordell Patterson, Mike Davis. If they don't draft um, a new running back or don't get a new running back, those two are their main running backs that they focus on. And then they can get some pass, um, pass protecting when they get to throw the ball. You know, Calvin Ridley might wants to be gone this off season, so maybe they could draft a um, receiver or get a receiver out of free agency. Now, our number three is Chris Godwin. Um, you know, he he's one of those that he might leave, he might stay. Same with Devontae, I guess. But you know, if he does leave, I think the best fit for him is the Commanders. Um, football team, but now the Commanders, if you guys haven't seen that, um, you know, they, they need help with Terry McCollin, um, Curtis Samuel wasn't that big this season, was injured off and on, um, didn't play that well when he was not injured, um, I think those three could really do very good together, and if they even want to get rid of Curtis Samuel, um, Chris Godwin and Terry McCollin would be a scary duo right there with whoever they want their quarterback to be. Um, but Chris Godwin played amazing at the Buccaneers. I think he would do really, really good at the Commanders. The next guy, Chandler Jones. Um, Chandler Jones is a very good left outside linebacker um, for the uh, Cardinals, kind of think. Um, you know, he's helped them a lot. He's getting older, but I think the best fit for him is the Seahawks. They need help in their rushing defense, and I think he could help there. And um, sorry for the background noise, that's the washer. We're downstairs, so, um, yeah. But I think the Seahawks can, you know, he can help the Seahawks defensive line. He can help Bobby Wagner out um, with the linebackers. And, yeah. The next is Vaughn Miller. You know, Vaughn Miller on the Rams now. He's getting older. He could retire this season. I don't think he will because this is his Super Bowl that they're going to. Or he's in that Super Bowl, I shouldn't say. It's his Super Bowl. But he's getting older. You know, he's declining in his very good way of playing. But I haven't gone to the Packers. And I know Packers have a good linebacker group, but to extend the linebacker group out, and um, Vaughn Miller is uh, is getting older, and he can go to the Packers. Because, I mean, if Aaron Rodgers does stay, he would probably want to go to the Aaron Rodgers and help Aaron Rodgers out because I know they have Rashad Gary, a young guy that's doing very that had a very good season this year. Um, 
and then they have Zedaria Smith. So, I mean, that's the linebackers that are proven up, but maybe you could go to the defensive line position and play there. Because, you know, we've seen him play at the defensive line be very good at it. Um, now, I don't even know what number this is, but the cornerback, J.C. Jackson. I hate this one, you know, because I'm a Patriots fan. I would hate to see him go. Cause he was like, he was one of the best players for the Patriots. Saved their season pretty much with Mac Jones. Um, but the good pickup for him, if he did leave, would be the Cowboys. The Cowboys have Trayvon Diggs, which is leading in interceptions, or led in interceptions, I should say. And but he's allowing way too many yards and allowing some touchdowns. He shouldn't allow that many yards. And when when they pick up J.C. Jackson, all those yards will go down more. And Trayvon Diggs can maybe go to the number two spot. J.C. Jackson can also help Trayvon Diggs learn how to coverage those players more or how to play against those players more and um, be able to teach or be able to you know, he'd be their cornerback number one. I know they have other corners but or with Trayvon Diggs, but maybe they could get some trade with them and improve on their other or their other positions that they need. My next one is receiver Mike Williams, um, from the Chargers. You know, he's 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 he was very good this the beginning of the season, the middle of the season. He's been really good this season, but beginning he was looking very good now if chris if chris godwin does leave the bucks the buccaneers i should say because some people think of milwaukee bucks but if he leaves the buccaneers they only got mike evans you know they don't have tom brady no more so a lot of players might want to leave there but if they said mike williams that's another he is another receiver number two i don't know if the buccaneers should basically do it but I think it's a great fit for Mike Williams. Buccaneers, you know, they could maybe improve on the receivers. Julian Darden, Scotty Miller, their receivers. Yeah. Sorry, guys, for the... Um, I had to do something real quick. Uh, so, we're on Marcus, our next guy is safety Marcus Williams from the Saints. Um, you know, he's been really good for the Saints, uh, safety. But uh, as a Texan, they, but the, net, the place I have him going is the Houston Texans. Um, they need help at safety with Eric, or not Eric Reed, what's his name? I can't think right now. But they need help with him. And those two together could probably play really good together. Um, the next guy is tackle Orlando Brown Jr. from the Chiefs. Um, their offensive line is, is good. He played good this season. But the place I have him going is the Bengals. The Bengals need a lot of help on offensive line. And, uh, on offensive line. They're probably going to lose the Super Bowl because that's how bad their, off or cause their offensive line is horrible. And Rams defense is pretty good. Um, you know. Like this video if I and comment down below if I should make a video of my Super Bowl prediction. Um, but next guy is receiver Allen Robinson. You know he won't. He sucked this year. He was absolutely horrible on the Bears. You know I think that's kind of Justin Fields. Justin Fields and Darnell Mooney are way better of a duo than Justin Fields and Allen Robinson. I think Allen Robinson needs to go to the Packers. Packers get rid of Devontae Adams, they need that next receiver for probably Jordan Love. Um, I think they should pick, or I think they should pick up Allen Robinson with Jordan Love, keep Jordan Love, because Aaron Rodgers is probably going to leave. Um, so if Allen Robinson on that team, that helps him out a lot more um, with Jordan Love. And um, the next guy, safety, Jesse Bates, the third from the Bengals. Um, I haven't gone to the Seahawks, you know. Um, they need help at safety with Jamal Adams. He's been all right, but, I mean, he's had, like, more interception the whole time he's been on the Seahawks. Or, like, three. I think the whole year it's been, like, two or three. Or the whole time he's been on the Seahawks, it's only been, like, two or three um, interceptions. I think they need to pick up Jesse Bates to, to either help him or replace him. Um, so, yeah. Let's say. Center Ryan Jensen from the Buccaneers. 
I haven't been with the Giants. Yeah, I mean, the Giants, um, their center, I don't remember, Billy Price, he's only like 30, which is younger. But I think they need to get Jesse Bates, or I think they need to get Ryan Jensen because well, he's a better center and he can help their offensive line, help Saquon Barkley out. And, yeah, that can help their team a lot more out than, you know, than Saquon Barkley can get better, get more to his actual form. Um, next is defensive end Javion Clowney. Um, you know, on the Browns, he's pretty good. Um, I think he was injured once or twice. Um, I don't know that for sure, though. But I, where I am going is the Cardinals, because if the Cardinals get rid of Chandler Jones, they're going to need that defensive lineman, which I know uh, Chandler Jones is actually a left outside linebacker, but he does play a lot of defensive linemen, which is technically the same thing, left outside linebacker and defensive lineman. But I can see him go there. I, wanna, I, I think the Cardinals should pick up Javon and Clowney. Um, I know he's old, or he's actually younger, he's like 27. Um, younger for what they probably have out there in free agency. That's good. Um, you know, they can help their defense a lot out a lot more with that pickup, you know, with the stop the running game that they have to play against. Um, like the Seahawks, the Rams, or, yeah, the Rams, you know, it's not the Rams, they're not in the Rams, but play the teams they have to play. Next is defensive Randy Gregory. From the Cowboys, um, he played pretty good this year. I know he had a few sacks, or two sacks maybe, or only one. I know it was a strip sack on Mac Jones, um, which sucked for us. But I haven't gone to the Jets, which the Jets kind of need a defensive end, and they try can't get a really good defensive end to come play for him. So Randy Gregory is a good defensive end, but he's probably not top level like Jets would probably want. But this guy could help him out a lot more, help you know what they need out. And, yeah. Next thing I have is, I was only going to do 15, but I wanted to do this guy. So, I had to do 16. Um, quarterback is Stefan Gilmore. So, Stefan Gilmore, he was on the Patriots, of course. I, I, I hated to see him go to the Panthers, but um, it is what it is. And, um, yeah, but I haven't went to the Bengals. The Bengals um, need cornerback help. They don't have very good corners, and that's the guy that they can pick up to get their corners better. You know, he's older, but he can help teach Eli Apple and all their corners how to play the game, and it'll be good. And yeah, but that is my free agent, free agent, where free agent should go in 2022. And so, peace. Oh, and another thing, leave a comment down below if I should. Um, make this in Madden, put these players in there to actually test it out in a Madden science video, I should say. So that's from RBT, but whatever, peace out.